Peggy 18. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. And cut. Hey, thanks for joining us. We're here with Jesse Buckley to talk about Supermassive's brand new game in the Dark Pictures anthology, The Devil in Me. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning. Tell us a bit about the character that you play. I play a character called Kate Wilder, who is a presenter who's part of this documentary team who are doing a show about the serial killer H.H. H. Holmes. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. So what interested you in the, in the role of Kate? Well, to be honest, I've never played a video game in my life and I had no idea what the hell the world was. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so that was firstly why I kind of was like, oh, yeah, that sounds new Different. <laughs> and fun. And yeah, and then I read the script and talked to Alita, who's our director, and it sounded like a really lovely thing to be part of and something new and fun. I love that, that you're stepping into something brand new for you and, and having to learn about all of it, not just, oh, hey, you know, mocap and, and all of that side of things, but let's just jump into yeah. video games and learn the whole thing. And I can't believe it. I can't believe how they create this world. Uh, action. <laughs> you know, usually I just get a script and it's like 70 to 100 pages long, but there's like 300 pages in one script. Yeah, it's unbelievable. This is, this is... Hear that? The walls are moving again. So what kind of a character is Kate? What's her personality like? She's front and centre. <laughs> Good place to but be. But she's a fighter as well. And she's got in the middle of this journey to find out who H.H. H. Holmes is. There's also quite a human side to her. And there's a relationship that's present with one of the other characters that they're kind of figuring out. And she's got ambition and bite. But also she's got a kind of fight and vulnerability to her as well. I like the sound of her. She sounds really cool. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. What was the toughest part of, of playing Kate? What else was quite challenging? We move really fast when we're filming it. And you've got this kind of heavy cycling helmet with a camera on you <laughs> on all day. Let's not think about the exact situations that Kate might find herself in. But eh, generally, how would you react if you were to find yourself in Kate's situation? If I was stuck in a murder castle and um, being chased by some deranged serial killer, I'd be absolutely terrified. <laughs> She's much tougher than I am and more kind of goading of the situation than I am. Because I guess that's part of it as well, is they half want to document it and they're half like living the thing that they're trying to document and they're afraid of. But, you know, I'd be off that. I I'd probably jump into the water and swim back to shore or something and... Or, I don't know, find a corner and cry. I'd be right behind you. <laughs> or, you know, in, unless Kate was there to protect both of us, frankly. But yeah, just yeah. emotionally eat all the snacks I have in my bag. Is we have some what too. Yeah, we can, we can double up on those for the, uh, for the emergencies. Yeah, I don't blame you. I think I'd do the very same. But then I guess you don't know, like that fight flight thing, you know, maybe if in that situation you may find some. I don't even want to think I about probably it. It's terrifying. Would. I also probably <laughs> would have stolen Charlie's cigarettes and smoked all of them. <laughs> Try not to cough up a diseased lung. You've mentioned Charlie a couple of times. I'm just going to go with it. Is he your fave character or is there another? Oh, no, no. Charlie and Kate have, they've got some kind some of stuff. stuff. <laughs> the problem is, is, though, I actually really love everybody's character. Like, I love Erin. Erin is such a sweetheart. She's so sweet. And Jamie. Jamie's, I mean, if I could be half as cool as Jamie is, I would be very happy. She's the coolest cucumber in the whole of the series. And then Mark is the ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Let's not say any more about that. Can you get stuck on an island in a murder castle with an I ex-boyfriend. If you're going to have the chat, you're going to have it there. <laughs> it's perfect. Is there an option to be a little bit crueler to people if you want to, or, or you know, kind of choose to bring them into your fold and keep them safe? Are you? Yeah, yeah. I think as a player, you can choose basically which relationships you enable and move forward or you which you run screaming off, from basically yeah. yeah the ex out <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they live happily ever after I like that <laughs> so give us an idea of your favourite scene so far which have you really enjoyed being involved in well they're all quite sparky because <laughs> they're all quite sparky characters run 
We were doing stuff with Erin and Jamie, where they're being chased by Demet, who's the owner of this mad murder castle. That nice guy. I that lovely him. man. <laughs> and it was quite fun to be part of that group of women. In one way, it was a game of cat and mouse, and they were trying to outwit Demet, basically, by goading him to come closer. Mm -hmm. So there was jeopardy throughout, and then I got to die fabulously a few times. Amazing. <laughs>